Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for taking my question. Um, I'm a constitutionalist, and I love your, I'm sorry if you don't like it, but there are hard-coded limits on federal authority that must be respected. I'm right so far? Yes. Essentially? Okay. Um, then I'm, I'm curious how you uh, reconcile that with, well, with my reading of the Constitution that limits federal authority to naturalization uh, and not immigration. They, because I tell you, the process, when you read the Constitution and you're right, it uses the word naturalization. Um, but even in the discussion of the 14th Amendment, which is oftentimes referred to by people who say, for instance, that if you're born in the United States, you are a citizen of the United States under the 14th Amendment of the Constitution. That's not how I read it, but I'm just telling you that's the way it's. That is the justification for what we presently do. But if you read even the discussion of what of the uh, what what it meant, I mean, what the authors of the uh, amendment were talking about was, of course, the creation of citizenship for people who were children of slaves, not people who were coming here without permission of the government. The um, and there is another phrase in there that's very important. It's called it's under the jurisdiction thereof talking about the jurisdiction of the United States. Who is a citizen? Under the, you have to be under the jurisdiction of the United States. Hence, for instance, if you come here, if you're here as a, an employee of an embassy, an ambassador, his or her spouse, you have a baby here. Nobody claims that child is here, is a citizen. Not under the jurisdiction of the United States. So there certainly are constitutional, I think, citations that you can go to and look for. What does it mean to be a citizen? And how do we distinguish that from anybody else that comes here? And, and again, how do you begin to, to, to uh, have a, just, just the practical sense of a nation without, of course, a, a national policy on immigration? And I think it's pretty simple. It, 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 does not, it is not a nation without it. And I think, again, the 14th Amendment there are certainly citations in it that, if I read them correctly anyway, would lead to the conclusion that we have a federal role in the identification of what is immigration policy and what is not. 